What's going on everybody? So if you haven't heard, Tony Romo will be replacing Phil Simms as a CBS anchor broadcaster uh, for football games. And you know, a lot of people have been talking about the whole situation as far as Tony Romo goes with the Dallas Cowboys, his legacy, how would he be remembered? And it's a, it, it's like, I don't know if it's divided down the middle, but a lot of people have to understand, it's simply this. Phil Simms is a two-time Super Bowl champion, right? And people are saying to me, why, why would they replace him with Tony Romo? And I'm trying to explain to everybody. It, you don't have to be a winner for life after football. And a lot of people that are commentators, they never won anything. So I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how Tony Romo will do as a commentator because the way he speaks, I don't think it's going to be something to where it's like really, really exciting. I don't know if it's uh, somebody within the organization at CBS that just wanted him as a broadcaster. But I'm not going to say that Phil Simms was exciting either. You know what I'm saying? Like... In my opinion, John Madden was the greatest. And most of the times, I didn't even understand what John Madden was saying, but his energy and his enthusiasm and just what he meant, probably it was all of his outside things he was doing, you know, with the video games and Madden and everything like that. He was just bigger than life. And John Madden was just, he's very, very unique as a broadcaster. I don't think he, I haven't, I haven't viewed or watched anyone that was as good as John Madden as just far as just saying the most ridiculous things and having a turducken and all the stuff that he was doing. But... Speaking specifically about Romo, people bring up all these statistics about QBR and stuff like that, and that's true. He had one, like, what is he? He's just right under Tom Brady or something like that. It was like, like 0.1, it was like, a, it was like a tenth of a percentage or something. It was something very, very close as far as QBR all time, um, minimum 3,000 passes. He has great stats, but the ultimate stat of winning it all, he doesn't have, right? So, that's what people are going to hold against him. It's similar to like LeBron James. Right now he has, what, how many rings does he have? He's got three rings, uh, four. I, he has, Michael Jordan has six, and he's 6-0 in the finals. That's all we need to know. He's never lost. LeBron James has lost. So people try to bring up the fact that we can't put him in the same class because he doesn't have as many rings. Now, we're dealing with a guy that has no rings, and he's about to land a job where a guy that has two rings has been there for a long time. And it's pretty much one of those jobs where it's like, yo, it's not going to open up unless something you know, Tony Romo decides to walk away from that, or, you know, there's something, there's another type of tragedy that happens. So people are saying it's not fair. I'm going to explain something to people. It doesn't matter what you think is fair. It's what they think is going to sell. It doesn't matter that Tony Romo has played five games in the last two years. People don't seem to understand. You can't really be mad at Tony Romo. The only thing that really pisses me off about the whole situation is that all of this was going on, right? Um, free agency hit. Tony Romo, oh, all this talk with Jerry Jones, he's still looking good, he's playing well, he's practicing well, all that stuff is going on, right? And then you see this man in a CBS jacket on his Twitter, Tony Romo. Like, all this stuff is going on, everybody's going, like, that doesn't make any sense the way that it all happened, but people need to realize that it's about making money. That's what it's all about. And as far as Tony Romo's NFL legacy, he's not a Hall of Famer. I'm so, like, listen, you guys can't give... T.O. is not in the Hall of Fame with his numbers, okay? He's probably eventually going to get there, I believe. I just think it's a lot of stuff uh, uh, as far as his reputation being whatever it is outside of football that, that's caused it. Uh, and he just, he bought himself a, his own gold jacket. Things like that is probably what's really hindering the voters from getting him in. But when you look at Tony Romo and you look at some of his all-star plays, like botching a, a field goal snap, things like that, those are like his top plays in the playoffs. I think if Des Bryant really was able to, you know, get that call and catch that ball, the Cowboys probably would have went on to, I, I, I don't know, they probably would have went to the Super Bowl. I don't know if they would have won it. I don't know what would have actually happened. Um, but I will tell you this, that was probably the last straw for Tony Romo. That was the last thing. But you guys got to remember, this is an undrafted guy, a guy that got a shot and made everything out of it. So I'm, listen, the guy is going to be successful regardless because he got his chance and he did the most with it. He didn't win a ring, but you can't really, you know what I'm saying? He went through a lot as far as making the Dallas O-line what it is right now. He took a lot of punishment, and that's why Dak Prescott is comfortable behind that line right now. But as far as his legacy goes, he's not, he, you know, this guy's not a Hall of Famer. He's a guy that was a good quarterback. He wasn't great. You're talking greatness, you're talking Tom Brady. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, it's very, very difficult to say great. I think he was a good quarterback. I think he brought a lot of um, joy for, for a long time to the NFL and the Dallas Cowboy fans. Um, it's just very, very unfortunate that people think that you have to win to be successful after football. 
You just have to have personality. I'll give him that. He has personality. I don't know how he'll do on a week-to-week -week basis talking about football if he still has a little bit left in his tank. I don't know, but we have to wait and see about that, man. But Phil Simms allegedly may not be completely out of CBS, but he's going to be part of something else, not that job, uh, for you know, calling football games on Sunday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the recap. Let me know what you think about Romo. One love.